Hi. This is Carmel, and I've been challenged by my source connection that speaks to me through the ocean and nature and the stillness and the quietness inside of myself to make a movie, a movie, <laughs> not to make a movie, to make a video every day for up to 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes where I speak to what's coming through me at this time. So this is the first and we'll see where they go. <sighs> it's been a while since I've been in the flow of making videos and speaking my truth because I've taken a year out pretty much, a year or more from all of that because I was fighting different battles to be me in the world and I was getting shut down in ways that were really difficult for me to navigate and they called me to step inside myself and check with how confident I felt in the words that were coming out of my mouth and in the feelings that I had pulsing through my heart and in the knowings that I had in the veins of my my or in the in the bones of my body and the veins of my soul and at some level I I just stopped talking at some point and that point led me back home to the stillness inside of me and what's feeling really potent at this time through that process is that we rise from this fall you may have felt or you may be feeling the mm, the resonance and the memory of being stoned and hung and maimed and tortured and killed from memories and senses and feelings of the past. I know I do. I have huge throat issues from speaking. I have a lump in my throat right now and I can feel my nervous system rising as I speak and so I'm putting my feet in the waters to ground myself and bring me back into myself so that I can speak from my heart and from what feels good and right inside of me and what feels true and real inside of me and what feels true and real here is that we rise from this fall it doesn't matter how um, death-defying it might seem, how dangerous it might seem. It doesn't even matter if we drop our bodies over this, we still rise from this fall. And that sounds like I'm condoning death and suicide and what have you, and I'm not. I'm just saying that we all have a role to play in this. And whether we're playing the role of someone who says yes to an injection or no, to that or someone who says I'm going to install the mandates or someone who says I'm not going to adhere to the mandates or someone that says I'm <laughs> I'm going to hold down the, only the accredited media um, and someone that says I'm only going to listen to the non-accredited media and someone who is actually presenting the news as an anchor and someone who's retorting that it doesn't matter what role we play in that it doesn't matter if we're the victim or the perpetrator, it doesn't matter what role we play. We have all signed up at some level to play the roles we're playing to illuminate the light and the purity of love that we are at this time in the world. And that's all that matters, is that at some point we come back to who we really are, to why we're here. And it's in the purity of love that we rise. It's in the purity of our love that we connect to our inner healing ability that is plugged into our source connection that rises through the frequencies that are available at this time on the planet to come online with the true nature 
of our true power. We are so powerful. We have been conditioned and programmed through the images of the media to forget how powerful we are. We've been conditioned and programmed through the, the images of the media to believe that we need help and guidance from outside of ourselves, that we need medications from outside of ourselves, that we need direction, that we need support, that we need government funding, that we need all these fucking things that we really don't need. What we need is to connect into who we are in our source connection. That does not lie. That knows how abundant we are. That knows how sovereign we are. They know our birthright. We know our birthright inside of us. And when we remember that power, we are then we have the power to do and be whoever, whatever we want. It's very different to the power over us that is administered, adhered to, <laughs> obliged from, um, I forget the word, I'm struggling with my word, but from the government, the power over us that says we have to do this, that and the other. The only government we have is nature. Nature is a power that is that cannot be reckoned with. But the power over to control, manipulate, dominate, force, control, coerce, blackmail, that's not power, that's ego. That's not consent. <laughs> that's, that's all the things I just listed. What we're really talking about is the capacity to, to tune in to our source connection that knows at any one moment exactly who we are and why we're here. And that power is beyond anything. It can't be taught. It can't be, um, it can't be shown in a step-by-step -step process how to do it, but it can be pointed to. I can point to it like the wave. One wave to another wave doesn't ask the other way if it has permission to rise at this time it just rises it doesn't have a it doesn't have to ask permission if it can retreat back to the ocean and become one with all that is in the sea it doesn't have to ask permission it doesn't apologize that's like a volcano doesn't apologize for erupting a river doesn't feel it has to <laughs> say sorry for flooding over its banks uh, the rain doesn't feel shame for falling for 10 days in a row. We're nature. We are nature ourselves. We have no obligation to have certain feelings or emotions at any one time. You, you are who you are and you feel what you feel. And when it's all rooted in the purity of love, it doesn't matter if you're angry or in love or if you're frustrated or if you're excited or if it doesn't matter what you are or what you're doing. What matters is that you're rooted in the purity of your love and you're operating through your own source frequency. And as you're operating through that frequency, it meets the frequencies that are available here on the planet at this time. And those frequencies are so much more powerful and aligned with you stepping out and speaking your truth than they ever have before. When we used to try and speak our truth, we were hung, we were stoned, we were tortured. Now, now we will be shared. Now we will be called to stand up and speak out more because your story is what makes you powerful. Your voice makes you powerful. Your body makes you powerful. You are empowered from within yourself. It doesn't matter what you say yes and no to so long as you say yes to the power that lives inside of you.